And with speed, here comes Prince. He has Lindsay going to the front. Nice move. Prince scores! Shane Prince. Oh, well, we were just talking a second ago. Geographically, Belleville isn't that far from the hometown. If you exclude the water, it must be an awful lot of driving for your parents to get to uh, the other side of Lake Ontario for a lot of these games. Yeah, definitely. Uh, they do a lot of traveling. Um, you know, I don't think any game is really close. I think uh, Niagara's only an hour away. But other than that, I mean, they're all pretty, pretty long hike, uh, but it's, uh, it's great that they always make it to the game. So it's uh, great for them to be here. To to it's certainly been a whirlwind year for you with everything going on, from AAA to you know all the talk that surrounds you, the media hype, the NHL. Is it is it a difficult thing to kind of look at, or do you sit back and say this is pretty cool? Um, yeah, I try to keep all those things inside, but uh, you know, every now and then I like to sit there and uh, kind of enjoy it a bit. And uh, you know, it's been a successful season so far. But, uh, you know, I just like to stick to my game. The, the season's not over yet, and uh, we got, what, 15 games more to play and then playoffs. So uh, I just like to focus on that for now, and then uh, when the time comes in the summertime, I can sit back and relax and look at look back at the season. The line with you to Foley and Martindale has been argued that it's the best line in the league, one of the best lines of all time in the OHL. Was the chemistry instantaneous with you three? Definitely. Um, you know, I think it was like 15 games into the season, uh, the coach finally put us together, and uh, from the first practice we were together, things just clicked, and uh, you know, from the, and then into the first game we, we scored a bunch of goals right away, and uh, it's it's been like that all season until this day. So it's uh, it's been a great season with them. Looking at the Eastern Conference, there's certainly two major powerhouses, but looking at the the depth of the league, who are some of the teams that you guys are focusing on as the stretch drive continues? Um, you know, definitely uh, teams like Missy are great teams, and uh, Niagara is a great team as well. But uh, you know, looking in our division, Oshawa is uh, kind of on our tail. I think they're about six points back right now, and you always enjoy Ottawa coming from a, a, a nice small area like Spencer. Uh, it's great. I love Ottawa so much. It's uh, it's a great city as well as the hockey. I've uh, I've enjoyed it since the first day I got there last year, and uh, you know, I've enjoyed it ever since, and uh, it's been very successful there. Do you get to watch a lot of the Senators games? Do you see a lot of NHL action? Uh, sometimes, yeah. We get uh, tickets every now and then to games. and uh, Sometimes I like to go just to watch uh, the next level and see some of the players play up there. And it's, uh, it's definitely great to be in an NHL city as well. It just adds to the great experience. Yeah, was Buffalo the team of choice when you were growing up? Definitely, yeah. Uh, just because it was closest, I was able to make it to, to a few games every year and uh, watch guys like Danny Breer, who's one of my favorite players. And uh, yeah, it was, uh, the Sabres were definitely my favorite team. Have you ever had a chance to meet him yet? Uh, no, not yet. <laughs> so when you, uh, maybe if, uh, if everything aligns, Buffalo would be where you want to get drafted. I mean, it's, it's always any team is great, but would Buffalo be a dream come true? Uh, definitely any team would be great. Um, but yeah, Buffalo would be, would be pretty cool just because it was my team growing up as a kid that I they always watched. And uh, it'd be a pretty unreal experience to be drafted by them, yeah. Thanks for this. Best of luck the rest of the season. Thank you. The 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 defenseman sticks by the side for time to play space, and he throws it back. But watch here. The goaltender's pad gets stuck outside that post. And we all see that post slide across. The right pad misses the post, so he has trouble getting across the other side, giving Prince the opportunity to come around and wrap that puck. But starts off with good hands by Gerbach and a real heads-up play by Shane Prince.